So in this question, we're given y and we're asked to find dy by dx. So that's a differentiation that's going on here. Now, there would be no difficulty had it been y equals x to the power of half. We would have carried out the usual rule, bring down the index to the front and take one away from the half. That will give us negative a half. But it's not as straightforward as that because it isn't an x that we're raising to the power of half. So by applying that rule, it's not going to work. We have to bring in the chain rule and we have to look closely at this expression whatever it is, let's call it f of x, that we're raising to the power of half and we differentiate it, multiply by the result. That's the chain rule or an example of the chain rule. So dy by dx would be a half of this to the negative a half times whatever we get when we differentiate x squared plus 7. And that's 2x plus 0. So just 2x is the adjustment that we need there. So there's the chain rule in action. Now let's try and simplify this a bit. A half of the 2 just gives us 1, a factor of 1. We can just ignore these two then. Um, there's something to a negative power. Let's make up a fraction. The x will be on the top. And because of this negative power, it's 1 over the same thing to the positive power. So it goes down to the bottom of the fraction. We're using x to the negative n is 1 over x to the n, bottom of the fraction for that. So x over x squared plus 7 to the half, which we know is the square root of x squared plus 7. So there's what we get when we differentiate that expression. Well, let's have a look at part uh, b. Hence, now we're into an integration. Let's remind ourselves what we're doing with uh, differentiation and how it's connected to integration. They are differentiating and we're producing x over the square root of x squared plus 7. Of course, doing it in reverse, integration being the reverse of differentiation, we would produce this and of course plus a constant. When we differentiate a constant, it disappears, we get plus zero. So that's the connection between the differentiation and the integration. So because of this result in part A, we know that when we integrate that answer, x over the square root of x squared plus 7, will produce the original expression but plus a constant. Now, if we look at what we're trying to integrate, the only difference between this and this is we're multiplying by 4. So let's just multiply both sides by 4. And the 4 will appear on the top. And we'll get 4 times this. plus a constant. We don't need to put 4 times a constant for because 4 times any old number is still just any old number. Remember that just stands for any old uh, constant. So there's our result. If we integrate 4x over root x squared plus 7, that's the resulting expression. 